All right, so I'd like to do one more pretty simple thing, and I'd just like to show you how to tell if some function satisfies the Laplace equation. Again, this is something you'll see in ENM. Uh, you'll get to do it in a more advanced context as well, but with Poisson's equation, this will be really great. You'll love it. Um, all you have to do is really just go through and uh, plug in something. So if I want to find out if something satisfies the equation, I just um, plug the function in here and see if I get zero, right? So del squared is um, del dot del, right? And so del dot del, these are, uh, these are vector operators. Basically, they're ddx squared plus d squared dy squared plus d squared dz squared, right? Of, multiplied by this function, which was some constant times the natural log of x squared plus y squared, right? And so I go through and I just try to see if I can get anything good out of that and if I get a um, zero or not. So first thing, um, pull out the A, right? And um, then I just distribute the uh, function ln x squared plus y squared plus dd y squared ln x squared plus y squared. And I'll leave this in, although I usually wouldn't, ln x squared plus y squared. Okay, and so now we've got all this going on with the natural logs. We take the uh, first derivatives, right? Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and do this in line. I could do them. Um, I could do them all uh, side by side as well, but uh, this will be pretty fast. So ddx um, ln x squared plus y squared. That's x squared plus y squared in the um, denominator. And then I take a derivative of uh, 2x of x squared, which is 2x, all right? And then I plus, I add in a ddy of something similar because it's all symmetrical. And then I add in a big zero, right? Because there no x de there's no z dependence in this function, so I just get a zero there. Um, now I'll go ahead and take the derivative here again. Now I've got a um, product rule problem again. So I have 2x squared plus y squared, right? Um, and then I'm going to have minus um, x squared plus y squared squared. And then I'll have 2x as that derivative, so that'll be minus 4x squared, right? Um, and then I have something symmetric with this ddy bit, right? So I have a 2x squared plus y squared here, minus 4y squared this time, um, x squared plus y squared squared, all right? So how does that work? Is that, do, is that zero or not? Does that look like zero to you? Well, I'll, I'll just keep on working through this, and maybe we'll find out. 4 over x squared plus y squared here, minus uh, 4x squared plus y squared over x squared plus y squared squared. Oh, I'm not going to get to do the fun trick because this guy cancels with one of these, so I just have 4x squared plus y squared minus 4 over x squared plus y squared, which is just zero. Okay, so it does satisfy um, Laplace's equation. And we're all right, okay? So everything is hunky-dory. We live happily ever after. And all you have to do is wait for next week when you get a whole new batch of problems, all right? So I'll see you then. Bye now.